I know. I know. Unexpected. <clears throat> Honestly, though, I'm not sure if I should stream this game anymore. I feel like we kind of peaked last night on that boss fight. I don't, I don't know if... I think it's kind of all downhill from here. Um, yeah, I, I, I probably should just go play Pathfinder or something. Anyway. Okay. Awesome. So we came down here last night, had an absolutely epic fight against this guy. It was amazing. I haven't even looked at what we got yet. Remembrance of the Shadow Sunflower. Remembrance of the Shadow Tree Avatar hewn into the Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Readers. The, the Shadow Tree is the source of the Erd Tree. Or the Shadow of the Erd Tree. <laughs> Born of dark notions that bear no sense of order, that twist and bend its stock, rendering it brittle. Hmm. Mikella's Great Rune. A great rune relinquished by Mikela. Uh, I'm always going to say it, Mikela. Broken and bereft of its bounty, it retains not but the power to resist charms. Uh, Mikela set off for the tower, enshrouded by shadow, abandoning everything. His golden flesh, his blinding strength, even his fate. All in an effort to bury the original sin. To embrace the whole of it and be reborn as a new god. Mesmer, the Impaler, a malevolent snake writhed within Mesmer, and so his very mother plucked out his eye and put in its place a seal of grace. Yet having done so, her fear compelled her to secret away her child within the realm of shadow, hidden away, keeping company with the original sin and a hatred that would not be confined. All in an effort to bury the original sin, to embrace the whole of it, and be reborn as a new god. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Retains not, but the power to resist charm. It's a reusable thing. Interesting. Okay. Huh. So this, this has to be for something later, like to break an effect. Maybe if we fight Mikola or something. Oh, wait a second. Wait, do perfume bottles go here or are they weapons? I thought they were weapons. Have I been looking in the wrong place? Hold on. Are they both? Maybe they're both. Um, could have sworn we had like a, a bottle as a weapon over here. We got to go with the electric one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we do have the lightning perfume bottle. That's what people are saying that we need to check out. Interesting. So apparently if we put this, is it this one? I think it's rolling sparks. Is this the one? And we can't use it because we don't have 16 decks. But apparently this is just stupid. <laughs> it's apparently it's just stupid. Um, which is kind of fun. How much decks do we have? We have 12. Wait, shouldn't I have 16 decks? Because I have a great rune on? Do I have seven decks normally? Um, is my great rune not powered? The great rune is not active. When did we die? We, we need another great room. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Was it to Mesmer? It must it must have been Mesmer. Okay. 
I wonder if there's any place we can buy these in the base game that I've missed. Does anyone know the vendors? Um, the vendors that sell these that are around the map? You get great runes while invading. Yeah, I don't really want to invade though. I mean, we could. We could, we could just go do some invading. And yeah, we bought all the ones here. The fat armor dude at the start sold three. Okay. How do I help people kill bosses? I've never actually done that. Do I, I just put a, 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 I use an item outside of the room and then they can like, just use it? Pop it some inside outside of a boss room. Okay. So let's see if I wanted like what's a what's a boss that this build is really good against? Oh, you know you know who this is really good against? This guy. Him. We one shot that guy at the beginning. Try outside Bale's room. Ah, Bale's risky, man. We we almost we almost screwed that one up. I, if I'm going to do this, because remember, if I die in this, it still counts. So if we're going to do this, then I got to make sure it's in an area where if the other guy just dies, I can still help. And maybe do something. I still may die. The Hermit Shack sells three outside of Lane Dell. This is the wrong way anyway. Should be up there. Uh, let me check that real quick. Uh, the guy outside of Lane Dell. So he'd be over here. Uh, no, over here. Use it on the hardest boss in the game. Who's the hardest boss in the game? What are you talking about? Dancing Lion? No. Yeah, Bale, Bale is... I wouldn't know if Bale's the hardest boss in the game, but he's really tough. Yeah. Well, divorce. Ha! Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So, is that it? Is that what's so strong? Um, kind of weird. You aim it at the ground. Interesting. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's like a mob. Oh, you know what? There's a knight up here. Am I actually going to use this in the game? No. I just want to see if it works. I'm curious to explore it. I'm not wanting to exploit it. So if I lock on, if I lock on, it doesn't do much. But if I do it at the ground, like Kat was saying, apparently it's like... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Like, it, it, it looks like there's an effect on the, the secondary explosion of the powder. That's weird. That, that, that clearly looks very unintended. I think the intended damage is the lock-on, and then for some reason there's like this crazy secondary effect going on. So if we just do lock-on and attack, I'm guessing we're never going to see that? Let's see. At least not to the degree. It, it still does decent damage. Bro, that is crazy. This is like a whole freaking perfume bottles are cool. Okay, 
Okay. Well, I mean, that's that's definitely interesting. Um, I don't think we're going to use it, but... Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. That's cool. I'm glad we tried it, but yeah. You can't backstab with it. Yeah, you'd have to... What, what you would probably want to do with a perfume bottle is you'd probably want to use a perfume bottle as a main and then have like a super... Like a miser cord or, or something in like to do that. But then again, it's really hard to, to tell if this is cool because it's only cool right now because clearly it doesn't seem to be working right. So... You'd have to, to, to really figure this out, we'd have to like level it up all the way and, you know, get a, get a plus 10 or 25, whatever it is. And But cool idea, cool idea. I was hitting the DL, the final DLC boss for around 10K with the perfume bottle. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, get our faith up to 60, I think. Are we gonna do mine? Yeah, we can do faith this time. We can do faith this time. Okay, so back to what we were doing. We beat him yesterday. We can go this way. Or this way. Or this way. So chat. One. Two. Three. What do you guys think? One, two, or three. Okay. Looks like one is winning with 56, two with 20, and three with 17. All right, cool. Thanks, Jack. So we're going up here. Good show. Hey, NF2SR, thank you for that 10 bomb, my dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. How do you get to the top area? Through the black keep. Through the black keep. You just, you just go right through the keep here. This is an area we haven't even gone into yet. Who is that guy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Whoa, what are you doing? Bro, slow down. Bro. I didn't get to buff, dude. I need to buff. I need to buff. Dad, hold him for a sec, dude. You got this, Dad. Hold tight, brother. Almost done. Hold on. Dad, no. All right, you know what? He let me buff. We're good. Let's go. Ah, Dad, I'm coming. No. 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 Uh oh, what's that? What's he doing? Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, no! Oh my god, that did so much damage. Okay, I 100% need an endurance thing for this fight. This is completely overwhelming my block. 100% overwhelming my block. Um. Every time I heal, he immediately starts an attack. God, his range is crazy, dude. Oh, got one, got one, got one. Come on, come on, endurance, come on, endurance. Oh God. Oh no. got him buffed we would have been fine i had no clue that was a boss
<sighs> oh, I think I have some subs from last time, too. I think I missed uh, two deaths from Mez... We'll do 30. For sure. Man, that really sucks. I when The second I saw him far off, I should have I should have immediately started buffing. Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, real quick. I need to buy some more of this. Hey, Kawaii, what's up, buddy? Okay, so we absolutely Control. need you. And I think that's really it. I think that's all we really need to change. I think everything else is all right. If I had, if I had had this endurance thing, again, I think we would have been fine too. We just do so much damage because he, he went through our shield. But we'll see. I'm going to do it this time and just die instantly in two seconds. So all this talk is going to be, you know, pretty meaningless. Oh, I don't have any. I thought we could buy boiled crab from her now. Oh, there it is. Good. Okay. You also unequip the perfume if you need some equipment load. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't really right now. I don't think I can go to this. Yeah. Done. All good. Thank you though. Okay, let's try this again. Also, I didn't even look for any summons. I wonder if there's there's a better summon we can use too. Didn't think about that. We gotta make sure we get our our souls. Okay. All right, chat, let's try a real attempt on this guy. Here we go. Again, I'm gonna die. Now that I've said that, two seconds. It's gonna take to kill me, two seconds. That's my, that's my idea. Oh, I didn't look for a summon sign. Is there one inside? Oh God, what just happened? Why? Why did... What? What the hell is going on, dude? There we go. Okay, please. Very strange. Okay, no problem. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's go. Applause, please. Boop. It's gonna be fun doing this on our decks round, huh? All right. Great, great, great. Okay, so let's take a look here. Try without spirit summons and shield. Yep, that's for the next playthrough. But this playthrough, I'm taking advantage of all the game mechanics that are offered to me, and it's great. Uh, okay, do you have a physical resistance incantation? I do. I choose to use damage over physical resistance. Yep. We forgot to count the death. No, death counters is 14. Yeah, that's right. No, that's cool. Mm-hmm. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Both were his elder brothers to the lion, and both were cursed from birth. In spite of, or perhaps because of this very reason, Gaius was both Mesmer's friend and the leader of his men. As far as I know, the crab and flame grant me strength are both body buffs and don't stack. Your 
absolutely right. Dang it. I didn't realize that. So we have to choose between... Um, I think this is... What, what is this exactly? Yeah, physical... It's physical... Uh, physical damage negation. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. We'll just, we'll just have to pick and choose that. We also need to go get our rune, which we didn't get yet. But real quick, I want to see this. Because that guy was pretty badass. Sword Lance. Oh. Weapon once yielded by Commander Gaius, a combination of great sword and lance, weighty and capable of being brought to bear with great force. This armament shows its true potential when used to stride a mount. It's like a mount weapon. Oh, dude. Blades of Stone. Gravity manipulating sorcery of Commander Gaius. Gaius and Radon were good rivals in their youth, and this sorcery is a product of their friendly competition. Shadow Sunflower Blossom? The head of this monstrous Shadow Sunflower manifestation of the Shadow Tree, then again, it might be just a flower wielded as a weapon? It's a strength faith weapon? Shadow Sunflower Headbutt? What? I kind of... Do we have to try this? I have to. I don't have a choice. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> is guys' his armor cool? Oh, I hope it is. Where's Gaius' legs? He has no legs? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, he did. He was attached to the boar? Oh. That's kind of metal. Dang. Okay. Um... If the legs are super chonky, then maybe, but I mean, it'd have to be super chonky. Let's go take a look. Um, okay. Kohu ugly? I know. Chad is saying that the legs are out here somewhere. Let's go, let's go find the legs and see how they look. If the legs, if the legs somehow make this not look ridiculous, then maybe, but... Oh, Edgar Games, the big sub bomb. Thank you, buddy. Let me let me pop over to Co. Boop. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Edgar Games. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. There we go. Thanks, Edgar. Oh, there we go. Another grace. Good show. Let's get this first, and let's go get our runes, then find this stuff. Man, look at all these, like, old weapons and stuff around here. Crazy. Very cool.
Hmm. Man. Oh, that sounds great. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, this arena is empty, but no real surprise there. This is where we were going to fight the boss, so they generally even pretty empty. Um, chat, before I move through this gate here, is there anything else I might have missed in here? I'm going to do another walkthrough real quick. The arena is empty except for one man. Oh, that's true. Still driving and striving as fast as he can? Yeah. Yeah, good call. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Good point. There's a waffle to your left. What? Where? Here? Is it a crispy Belgian waffle? The ones that are warm and just slightly crispy but soft on the inside that you can put butter on and just makes it some kind of orgasmic eating experience? Is that what's over there? Oh, it's a Lego waffle? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Don't forget your new toy. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, we should probably, like, level this up, huh? What do you do? What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How are we looking? This man just fully upgraded the weapon and he hasn't even seen the move set for the item yet. This man's lost his marbles, chat. He's lost his marbles. <clears throat> Oh, dude, I know. Now that we're carrying this big flower weapon, I feel like this is required. It's not even an option anymore. How are you going to carry around a giant flower and not wear a pot on your head? That's not even a, it's not even a question. We're basically like... We're like a space marine from Plant vs. Zombies right now. That's what we are. We're like, we're like the boss of Plants vs. Zombies. That's what we are. I literally pulled up one of the flowers and I just carry its corpse and I'm like... Every zombie's gonna f die. <laughs> I'm leaving the garden. We're taking the fight to them. <laughs> That's a, dude, ha! They should totally make a souls like on Plants vs. Zombies based on that premise. That the freaking dude just gets tired of the zombies invading his yard and like gets decked out and like just goes out to kill the zombies. And it's a freaking souls like. And you're like picking up like all the different plants and stuff as armor and weapons and. I would play the absolute hell out of that. <laughs> That'd be so good. RBJ says, I'm working on it right now. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. 